السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello Grade 7 and welcome again Now let's start our lesson for today Before that I want to just remind you of this thing You should wash your hands frequently Keep a social distance between you and your friends Avoid touching your face Cover your mouth to protect others Ask for medical help if you need it And stay home to be safe Let us start by looking at our school budget Okay, so today, inshallah, we are going to study Unit 7C, Student of Page 92, Vocabulary and Read. Our objectives for today, classify four words with four, with four pictures correctly. Two, identify the main idea correctly after skimming a text. Three, define the correct answer for sex question correctly after scanning the text. And our vocabulary, we are going to talk about this one in detail. Here you have a game. I want to just to copy the link here and you can find the game. Yep, like this. It will open and you'll find a game. You're going to play this one to examine your understanding for the vocab. Okay? Down pack to our lesson for today. Just easily copy the link. Okay. So have a look at the picture here. Can you tell me? What can you see here? Great food, that's right. We call this one well, yeah, this one contains a lot of fats, that's right. On the other side, we have a healthy food and a fast food, that's right, because this one contains a lot of fats. Yeah, why do we use this problem? What do you think? Great to get energy, to get energy. So, the word is energy. I want you to write the vocab in your notebook and use them in the sentences, okay? Try to get the meaning through the pictures. What can you see here? Great, healthy food. Healthy food, great. What about this one? Yeah, still the yummy part. This junk food is not unhealthy. So the word is junk food. Junk food. What can you see in this picture? A lot of healthy food contain a lot of vitamins. Vitamins. And minerals. Minerals, that's right. And for the last one here we have a lot of vegetables. You know this one. Great. And fruits. Fruits. That's it. Now let's move to our lesson for today. I want you to open your student book page 92 vocabulary. Are you ready? Yes, here we are. I want to look at and complete the description with a word in the box. You have your description you are going to complete. I want you to pause the video now, answer the question, come back to check your answers. Yeah, what can you? Well, the first one yogurt was strawberries and chocolate. Club sandwich. Chicken cheese, lettuce, tomato, chops and ketchup, salmon with broccoli and tomatoes. For the last picture, beef soup with yeah, potatoes, peas, and carrot. Excellent. Done. Check your answer. You can correct your answer using a ribbon. Okay, move to our first objective. Objective which is classify four words with four pictures correctly. Here we are. Are you ready? Yes. Read the title of the text. Do you believe they are true statement? Read and find out. Hear the statement. How well do you know your food facts? Chocolate is never a healthy option. Fat can be good for you. Yeah. What do you think about this one? It's the opposite that we know. That's right. Let's check out. This one is false. Chocolate can be good for you if you don't overdo it. So we can, you can eat chocolate, but don't overdo it. And the here we have this one is true. Good fats can give you energy, but bad fats are harmful. So we have got two kinds of fats. Move to peanut. Read again with the sentence 
best summarize the main idea of the text. I want you to pause the video now and try to choose the correct answer. We are back again. Let's read to find out. Chaka is never a healthy option. I want you now to read the question. After that, here we are. Let's talk about this one in more detail. Why do people think chocolate is healthy? What do you think? Excellent, because it's sweet. Because it's sweet. This is the way how can I get the answer. Move to number two. Juice contain many vitamins like... Yep, chocolate has got excellent vitamin A and C. Directly mentioned in the text. Nose unnecessary for strong te teeth and bones. Is that true or false? Excellent, this one is true. Continue with the second one. Excellent. Move now to the second paragraph. I want you to read it fast. Now, let's answer the question. Why should you eat a lot of chocolate? Why? Excellent. It contains lots of sugar and fat and high in calories. Excellent. Great. This is the way how can I find the answer? Chocolate contains a lot of sugar and fat. Excellent. Eating chocolate. Complete the sentence. Eating. Yeah. Excellent. Eating what? A lot of chocolate is okay. It still contains a lot of sugar and what? Fat. So the first one is lead and sugar and fat. Move now to the second part of our lesson for today. Notice that this one is a worksheet just to examine your understanding for the text. Okay, it's an extra one to make sure that you get the idea of or how can I deal with any reading text. Yeah, fat can be good for you. What do you think? What kind of food contain good fat? Read now the text and answer the questions. Great, the answer is nuts, vegetable oils, and many fish. And here is the answer. Move to number two. Good fats help the body work well. Is that true or false? Excellent, is it true? Move to number three. God help you body work. Good fats help your body work well. Work well. They give, yeah, complete the sentence. Give you what? Energy. We took this one. Excellent. Energy. And they are necessary for a healthy brain, too. Great. Great, my student. Excellent. This is the way how can I answer the question. Move now to the second paragraph. I want to read it fast. Try to find the answer for the questions, then come back to check. Back again. Why should you avoid junk food? It contains excellent, contains bad fat. Excellent. This is the way how can I find the answer? By scanning the text. Great. Fried food contains bad what? Bad fat. Is it true or false? Yeah, for sure it's true. Contains bad fat. Now I want you to complete sentences. Good fat. Help your body work well. They give you energy and they are necessary for a healthy brain. Excellent. Back to our question at the beginning. After reading the text, can you tell me the, the, sen the, the answer for this question? Which one of these sentences best summarize the main idea? Great, my, my student, you are great. I like chocolate. And gut fats are good for you. Excellent. The answer is C. Now we done with what? With your second objective. Let's now continue. Now we wanted to answer exercise C in your student book. You are going to read and answer the question. I want you to pause the video now, answer it, then come back to check. Great. Back again. Why do people think chocolate is healthy? Yeah, people think chocolate is unhealthy because it's sweet. Which type of chocolate is good for you? What do you think? Dark chocolate is good for you. Why does chocolate help you? 
help keep your pounds healthy. Because chocolate is rich in minerals like magnesium and calcium. You know that before? Mm, nice. Why should you eat a lot of chocolate? Excellent, because it contains a lot of sugar and fat and high calories. What kind of food contains good fats? The, the kinds of food that contain good fats are nuts, vegetable oil, and many fish. Why should you avoid junk food? Because it contains bad fats. Excellent. Move now to the homework. I want to now just to open your workbook now. Right now, open your workbook, page 98, exercise A. You are going to complete the vocabulary that you have. Okay? I want you to do your homework and let me see this one when you get to school. Move now to the closure. We are going to end our lesson for today. An exit pass for this lesson. I want you now to bring out your notebook after writing the vocabulary. You are going to write three sentences using our word in this lesson. Choose three of them, write, excellent, write them in sentences, and let me see this one when you get to school. That was everything about, about our lesson for today. If you have any questions, please feel, feel free to ask me, and see you next time, inshallah.